All right. The rain started coming down, but now the sun is coming out, so we're gonna try to walk between the raindrops here. As you can see, it's very, very wet. So the Chicago History Museum, right here, located down in Lincoln Park. Hey, just uh, Lincoln Clark right there. North. What's that? On uh, Clark and North. Yeah, Clark and North. And uh, we're gonna take about a 15 minute walk. It's about uh, 7 tenths of a mile right down here. We're gonna try to go to lunch at a place called the Oven and Pizza Grinder. You've probably seen them on Facebook, or Pizza and Oven Grinder, or something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, Pizza and Oven Grinder, that's it. And uh, you've probably seen them on Facebook. Ever since they've been on Facebook, this place has become a madhouse as far as the weight goes, so we're gonna yeah. just see how the weight is. But. We'll tell you a little bit about someplace historic that's right across the street. Infamous. Who's this here at the uh, beginning of Lincoln Park? It's LaSalle. It's De La Salle. And he's here because yeah. here's his street name. It's West LaSalle Drive. So that is Robert Cavalier De La Salle. I like this guy at the Hotel Lincoln with the bowler hat on. Oh, nice little silhouette. So this is all part of the Lincoln Park system here. So things you can find in Lincoln Park, Lincoln Park Zoo, of course. That would give you one of the biggest attractions at the free zoo. We did a... Uh, What was it? It was like a, not a treasure hunt, but a, uh, scavenger hunt. a scavenger hunt. And I remember that blue door over there being one of the clues. Yes. Remember that blue door? We, and we had to look blue. And we had to take a picture of ourselves looking blue. And then we could get our next clue. Okay, so we're not going to eat where we were going to eat, which is the Chicago Pizza and Oven Grinder Company. Uh, the wait is just about two hours long. Uh, and that's no bueno. We're hungry now. So, but I did want to show you a very historic site, uh, infamous historic site, uh, right across the street here. Uh, there used to be a building that sat right here in this area here. And this is where the notorious St. Valentine's Day Massacre happened. So yes, the St. Valentine's Day Massacre happened oh, right here. Uh, you can actually still see up on top, uh, you see that tar line right there? Right there? That is uh, That was where the original roof was to the building. And uh, it, the, the building itself extended from that wall to just about past this tree somewhere. And yes, Al Capone had organized a major hit on uh, one of his uh, big competitors, the Northside Boss. At the time, people didn't mind, you know, a mob hit here or there. They, and they one really or liked two, Al and they really liked Al Capone. Believe it or not, he did a lot for the community. He set up soup kitchens during the Depression, um, helped the Boy Scouts, the Boy Scouts out, uh, Boys Clubs of America. Um, was I mean was really influential in the, his in the area, but uh, that was back then. And uh, but of course he was a well-known gangster. It didn't prevent him from being a murderer uh, and uh, uh, a racketeer and all sorts of good stuff. So um, he put this hit out, and they said seven people murdered all at the same time. That's just too much. And uh, That's where we say no. this is where we say no. That's, no way. You know, so, but uh, I'll show you a picture of what it looked like back then. And what I want you to look for uh, is these pillars right here. 
um, in the picture. Uh, they're still here and they look exactly the way that they did back then. Decided on a place around the corner. It's called RJ Grunts. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see about that too. Okay, we got copyrighted music above, so I'm gonna have to talk over this. So this might be uh, uh, instrumental here. Okay, so here is the menu, and we got hand dip shakes and malts, appetizers. RJ's Choice Chicken Wings Emporium, Salad and Soup Bar, awesome salad bar here. Uh, world's Famous Burgers, Wraps, Chicken, they got Dinner Specials. And just about anything you can think of to, to drink. I like the way they call their uh, wine Happy Grape Juice. R.J. Grunts. Look at those chicken fingers. Vivi, that looks awesome. And they don't have, they, they have fries, but it comes with these uh, chips. Homemade. Homemade potato chips, basically. Okay, here's my burger. I just started messing with it here, but mine come with the chips too. Becky's getting a salad. We'll show you the salad when it gets here. And there is Becky's salad. That looks pretty darn good. You make your own salad here. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Of course, uh, it's already been taken into. There was a sherry on there that Bibby just had to grab immediately. Yes. But yeah, we're having a just we're just sharing a small chocolate sundae just amongst the three of us. Please respect our public car reviewing only. Thank you for not climbing. But I like these guys. Want to get an idea of how windy it is. Look at them flags up there. Man, they are whipping good. Whip it. Whip it good. Dun -o -dun -o -dun. Look at this size. Uh, uh, the buildings for the... Uh, Lincoln Park Zoo, the office buildings, but I like that statue right there. Look at that. Papa Jay used to live in this building right here, right across from the Lincoln Park Zoo, many, many years ago. I wanted to get out of the sunlight, but that used to be the old Playboy building. And uh, as we were saying, Papa Jay used to live there at the Playboy Man, at the, not the mansion, but the building. So the winds are so high. Look at this. It's even done damage to a tree down here. Knocked a tree right over. Some places down here was experiencing this. Lakes right over there, uh, Lake Michigan, but they were experiencing a 60 to 80 mile an hour gust down here. That's like hurricane force weather. So right now we are on the block of Clark and Menominee. Na 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 na. Menominee. Na 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 na. Menominee. Okay, so that concludes our little Chicago history tour through the museum, and I just wanted to show you the uh, the site of the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, probably one of the most famous mob hits in world history, um, uh, since we were right across the street from, uh, from it. Um, uh, hopefully this summer, what I'd like to do is I would actually like to take you guys kind of on a mob tour of Chicago. And show you where a lot of things happened with the mob and give you a little bit of history on the Chicago mob. Uh, I always thought that would be fun. And we'll take you by uh, the gravesite of Al Capone and uh, some of the mob bosses. And, excuse me, and, uh, and take you by like Al Capone's home where he lived and things when he was here in Chicago. 
Um, but that uh, that was really it. Um, oh, that uh, that cheeseburger that I had at uh, R.J. Grunt's. Oh my gosh, I rank that number three as far as the best burger I have ever had. It is so good. If you are ever in Chicago, around the Lincoln Park uh, area, uh, right by the zoo, go to RJ Grunt's. You will not be disappointed with the cheeseburger there. Uh, even Vivian, like the uh, the chicken fingers, the sack, like I said before, that salad bar is incredible. Uh, everybody really enjoyed their meals that day. So, um, hopefully, you liked everything that you saw on this little tour. Uh, stay tuned. We got some more stuff coming in for Memorial Day weekend, um, and I uh, hope you guys are having a safe and uh, and good uh, Memorial Day, nice three day weekend. Hopefully for most of you. So, um, if you like what you see, please give us a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and we'll see you guys next time on Where the Heck Are the Albans? <laughs> Bye everyone.